Mister. <laughs> uh, let's get downstairs now. Moments ago, Ken Hitchcock addressing the media after the Blues come from behind, two to one win tonight over the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tonight, four and six, four and five and a half, whatever you want to count it. We had nothing. We had probably a little bit in the second period. We pushed a little bit, but we had nothing. So he gave us a chance, and then you know. Vlad came through again, and it's a great goal by by Schwartzy, but we needed our goalie tonight, and he came through for us. You know, it's one goal difference there at the end, so of course they're going to battle, but you got to like to compete there towards the end to try and find that goal. Yeah. Yeah, but to me, we're just trying to, you know, we're trying to find plays that are... You know, Tarasenko is such a dangerous player. We're just trying to get face-offs. We're trying to get whatever. So, to me, um, I just knew if he got his stick on the puck two or three times towards the end, he was going to get a crack at it. And I think they knew it, too, because they were playing off him. They were a little bit nervous about him. He was a big threat for us. He was the one guy that was a real threat tonight. And, you know, he did it again. But to me, it's we're just trying to get stoppages, get face-offs, and then get him out there as much as we could. One of those guys when you talk about guys that score from distance, not many are going to score from that. Yeah, he's, he's that's what's so unique about him. You know, there's people that score goals, but he's just so unique. Like he just blew it right through him. And you know, he, we all, everybody played a little bit tired today, but he's still in doing that. He still had four or five great scoring chances. So it's a good sign. We were just talking about this a week ago. Stasky winning face offs. Yeah, we really needed him today. We were struggling on the dot, and he won big face-offs. He won two big face-offs in the third period when we tied it up, too, to help us. He he was big on the dot for us. We really needed him today in a big way. Okay, thanks. Well, and Ken Hitchcock mentioned it. It was Brian Elliott who carried this team to a win tonight. Yeah, Brian, as he said, uh, you know, when he was called upon, he made the big saves. And Tampa had a lot of great chances, too, from in close. And Brian was really, I saw, you know, thought he was really seeing the puck very well tonight. You know, he's always got great movement anyways. And, you know, he was out to the top of the crease an awful lot tonight, too, which I think is really key uh, for any of the goaltenders in, in this league to get out as far as they can so they can really cut down the angle on the shots. Nashville also had to come from behind tonight, but they win. So, Bernie, the Blues go 11-0-1, and they've only cut a few points off the lead of the uh, Nashville Predators. It's really incredible what, what Nashville is doing. And they're doing without their top goaltender, maybe the top goaltender in the, in the National Hockey League with Rennie out. And he's going to be coming back real soon now. But, you know, the Blues in the situation right now with 70 points now. Uh, Anaheim is playing uh, as well this evening, and they're tied with the Blues right now. But the Blues have a game, a couple games at hand on, on Anaheim. So, I mean, this is going to be really interesting. Uh, still plenty of time left, 32 games left uh, for the Blues on the season, Pat. But it's going to be an awful lot of fun down the stretch. And uh, you know what? Uh, this Central Division is absolutely amazing uh, how tight everything is right now. Take you a look are, at that. You are correct. Uh, don't forget, all month long here at Scott Trade, the Blues are having Mardi Gras month. The live bands, uh, great uh, ticket deals that include uh, all-you-can-eat food. And uh, certainly, it's a great time. Uh, check out stlblues.com for a chance to get in on all the Mardi Gras fun. Back with more on Blues Live after this.